got this letter from my friend in the mail. Have you ever gotten a letter in the mail? Maybe a birthday card or a thank you note. I love getting letters. It is so much fun to read and reread the letter. Have you ever written a letter to someone? I bet there's someone in your life who would enjoy getting a letter from you. Did you know that the Bible is full of letters? We spent quite a bit of time lately learning about Paul. He was a big letter writer. As we have talked about, he spent a lot of time traveling to many different cities, setting up churches by telling others about Jesus. The believers would form churches, and then he would write letters to these new churches that were established in these cities to encourage them and help them learn to follow Jesus even better. Do you know the names of any of these cities? Thessalonia, Colossia, Ephesia, or Philippi? Those are just a few. Do they sound familiar? The letters that Paul had written have become books in the New Testament. The books of Philippians, Ephesians, Colossians, and Thessalonians are all letters that he wrote to these new churches. And there's even more. Can you imagine writing letters to people that get put in a book and people read them for thousands of years? These letters were written a long time ago, yet they still apply to us today. We can read them anytime we want to in our Bibles. That's amazing that we can read and study the actual words written by Paul many years ago to these brand new Christians. This week we're continuing to learn about Paul. Paul's life as a Christian was tough. Even though he grew up rather privileged, he was a student um, studied under great Jewish leaders and became a Pharisee. He lived in Tarsus, which is a well-known and influential city. He was even born a Roman citizen, which gave him certain rights and protections. But Paul went through some very difficult times when he decided to follow Jesus and share the good news about Jesus. He was run out of towns. He was arrested. He was shipwrecked, and he was put in prison. In fact, he wrote many of these letters while he was in prison. Our reading this time comes from the book of Acts, chapters 27 and 28. Paul was headed to Rome to be put on trial. He was a prisoner on the boat that he traveled in. God told him to tell the guards that they shouldn't travel because bad weather was coming. I think that was awfully brave of him to tell seasoned sailors how to sail their boat. Do you think they listened to him? No. The boat sailed right into the treacherous weather. For days they were tossed around in the rough seas. Everyone was afraid they were going to die. Everyone except Paul. We're going to read from Acts 27 verses 22 through 26, which is Paul encouraging the sailors. It says, Yet now I urge you to keep up your courage, for there will be no loss of life among you, but only of the ship. For this night, an angel of the God to whom I belong and whom I serve stood before me, saying, Do not be afraid, Paul. You must stand before Caesar. And behold, God has granted you all those who are sailing with you. Therefore, keep up your courage, men, for I believe God that it will turn out exactly as I have been told. But we must run aground on a certain island. Because Paul knew he could trust what God had said to him, he was able to encourage his fellow travelers, and there were well over 200 of them. They did become stranded on an island named Malta, but they were well taken care of by the islanders who showed them just a really unusual kindness. God provided for them in all the ways they needed. I think you should read in Acts 28, and find out how Paul even got bit by a viper and survived. The book of Acts is filled with many adventures that Paul went through. Many of these adventures were difficult, but he trusted God throughout them. God would tell Paul where he would go, where he should go to teach others about Jesus. Do you think Paul was ever scared? I think he probably was. 
but that didn't stop him. He trusted and obeyed God even when it was hard. That was how he strengthened his relationship with God. Every time he followed God's plan, things worked out the way God wanted. That increased Paul's faith in God. God may ask us to do hard things, like not being able to go a lot of places, not being able to see a lot of friends, having to wear a face covering, moving to a different place, having school in an unusual way. But God promises to be there with you each and every day. When you trust in His plan and you see His results, your faith in Him will increase just like Paul's. Have a blessed week.